Hello fellows, let's go to Sony Vegas Pro and have a little bit of fun with um, color grading. So, and a little bit of, uh, yeah, a little bit of effects here. So, the first thing what I want to do is, for this very short clip, I want to give it a letterbox effect. And I just go here in this crop uh, thingy and then I drag it down until I have it here on my marks. I really have to find out, of course, if this is uh, actually the real 1.3 to 1 uh, ratio, what I would go in my project, what I discuss on another channel. But um, for this test, it will do. So um, the next thing, you see that I have already added effects that I wanted to use here. Uh, I could remove them. But, uh, so um, I don't do this, of course, because I have here my pl plug-in slash effect chain already built up, so, and I have to activate them. My settings for the color curve um, is this. I w just wanted it a little bit of, a little bit of contrasty, but not too. I, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to have it a little bit more on the overexposed side for a more dreamy, uh, heavenly uh, look here. And yeah, I really wish that the controls would be more like in uh, Photoshop. The curves in Photoshop are grandiose, are just uh, extremely well to handle once you uh, are used to it and um, yeah I really miss the handling it's totally different here in Sony Vegas Pro but okay it's a totally different program of course um, the next thing what I'm doing is or what I did I, all, I already um, already uh, did is in fact is that I'm going to do in the low here is it called low in Photoshop would be we would call it the darks I add some blue into the dark areas into the shadows and the dark areas it's just what I do in my studio portrait photography I always go to the blue channel and make the darks a little bit blue just a touch and I try to do this here as well in between I have to um, I have to drag this to another monitor where I then can where I then look at it in full screen and um, yeah but for this purpose here I just have one monitor where I want to work on of course and uh, this has to do so a little bit of blue in the darks and then I added sharpener in an earlier video we had it about sharpening and uh, yeah I really have to uh, watch this it can look a little bit exaggerated when you see it on the small uh, version and not in the finished rendered version. So you really have to find your way. I had made a video how to best find your way uh, in this yesterday, I believe. Yeah, okay. And for a little bit of more film feel, I have added a little bit of film gain. But just a little bit, because what I found was if you go too far with the chromacity, for example, I just let it left it on the on the uh, 0.5. You can see that uh, if you double click here on these buttons, you will see that it's always 0.5, so 50%, so to say. And I really wanted it a little bit no more than a little bit. I had it here on 13.13 .13. and I know that this is the amount that I, where I'm going for. This here, the granulation, what I noticed with the granulation uh, or with the chromacity in combination, so it's, 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 it's more harsh with the, and so I did I put it all around, I pull all the harshness out of the grain and I just want to have this really, really slight grain. 
the uh, chrom chromatocy, what I found was that in the, you see this especially if you have the granulation very harsh, you will see that it actually produces some chromatic aberrations inside of the grain. So I uh, just left this as it is and what I'm going to do is I'm going now to render this and put this uh, at the end. It's uh, nearly 20 seconds so you can see for yourself if you uh, like this. But yeah, okay, let's have a look at this. I all say already goodbye to you from here and I will put, as I said, this rendered version of this little film clip on the end. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and uh, goodbye.